Hey guys, this is Orange the Titan back at it again with another toy review. This time we're doing um the build build a figure Bane. For some reason I couldn't think of that. I found these guys actually uh, in San Diego. I was out there for uh, my vacation. I just got back from it from San Diego, and I found these guys out there uh, at the local Target out there, and um, pretty cool. Pretty cool that I found all these guys. So we're going to review each one and um, we'll see how the Build-A-Figure looks. Alright, let's get into it. So there are the all the figures right there. I will The Bane's over there with my other figures. I will um, build him and show him at the end. But we will go to... Let's see, we'll do... Um, this wave's not bad. We'll just go to least favorite to most favorite in this wave. So I will start with the person I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then next, next, you know how it is. So let's get into that right now. So we're going to start off with Omega. Um, this is my least favorite out of the, as, eh, out of the wave. Um, and before I start with him, all, all the characters come with cards that they represent. Okay. And they all come with, you know, the DC stands. I will say it was cool, though, because uh, Scarecrow does come with the, the flight stand. Anyways, let's get into Omega. This character right here, let's move my camera up a little bit. This, this guy is pretty cool. It's Batman. Uh, well, evil Batman. It's whatever. He looks cool. Designs are cool. I like the texture on the suits. Uh, it's got a little cape. Um... This is from this is from the comic novel um Batman Last Night. I think it's called Last Night on Earth. Something like that. I've read it. It's one of my favorite comics. Uh I was very jazzed that they were doing these characters. Um I do have a couple problems with some of these figures. But a lot of good too. I think this figure's good articulation wise. It goes like that. You can go all the way back. All the way back. And yes, I know. When I do articulation movements, I suck at it. <laughs> but, yeah. Because I never I forget what it's called when I'm doing it. But, overall, good. Ah, ah, ah. So his arm popped off. Didn't break. Just popped off. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Um... Yeah, you know your typical McFarlane, uh, McFarlane articulation. I like McFarlane's articulation somewhat. The design's cool, cool Batman. Uh, you can't really, can't really go up. You can't really. He can go back a lot. Oh wow, and he came apart right there too. Damn, Omega's just coming apart. But yet again, not breaking. It's just. Ah, there we go. Just coming apart easily. Um, all the accessories he comes with. There's the face too. Yeah, design. So cool figure, I guess. Um, all he comes with is a fist hand and another fist hand because he has a somewhat holding gun, gun posing holding gun. His hand popped off, and he has like a kind of like a wall grabbing hand or a grabbing hand or whatever you want to call it figure's okay uh, i like this figure it's cool i like the detail not my favorite out of the bunch um kind of wish it came with um an unmasked bruce wayne head and here we go um spoiler this is bruce wayne sorry for saying that but it is um yeah i kind of wish it came with um i mean omega Omega didn't really have a lot of, you know, accessories or have like a lot in the comics. So I understand, but it would have been cool if he got at least another head sculpt, in my opinion. But so good figure, so good pickup. Um, let's go on with the next. Now the next one we're doing is the Wonder Woman from the Wave. Uh, I'm going to call her Mohawk Wonder Woman. Uh, I, I like the detail on this figure. 
Here's the face. I like the mohawk a lot. I like how he put the paint tray up there. Um, I like the, I like how glossy it is. I like the rip cape. Um, I do have a couple uh, problems with this figure, and we'll start with those problems right now. First off, the sheaf right here. It's okay. It's cool. It's hard. Um, I don't like that McFarlane's doing that. I don't understand why he's doing that. But my biggest concern with that is the sword. I don't know why he's doing these rubber swords. I mean, look at that. It's dumb. Um, he did the same thing with the Deathstroke. And I don't understand why he's doing that. I kind of wish uh, these were hard plastic or whatever. I think I'm going to switch the sword out. Maybe get it for something else. Because I just... Look at that. It's not even... Like, I'm going to have to, like, keep fucking with it. Oops. Sorry. Keep messing with it until it... It just... It's garbage. You know, it's not... I mean... Uh, let me move the figure. And once you put it in... I mean... I mean, this one actually goes in a lot better than the Deathstroke one did. But, like... I don't know. I'll probably just keep it that there that's that's it yeah um she does not come with her lasso and i forget if she had her lasso or not in this comic i don't think she did but she doesn't um cape's cool it's whatever uh articulation can go up to there other light can go up to there i wonder if this guy is gonna um pop off knees can go up Knees can go up. Go back down. I feel like this one feels more fun to play with. It's got those boots. Like that. Like that. Can go a little bit like that. Like that. Arms, of course, can go all the way up. All the way up. Go out. Go out. Uh, it does. The articulation does hinge a little bit because you can't go but you can twist twist and go over just a little crunch over a little bit you can crunch back more so yeah um she also has like kind of like shading right here on her cheeks like it's dirty like like to me like from hindsight it, i think it's just supposed to be more texture i see what they're doing but sometimes it kind of looks like like dirt to me Unless they were going for that. And then she's got her little, you know, knife right there. But it's just, you know, sculpted onto her. Uh, I think I think this one's a cool figure. I think she's cool. Uh, I think she's better than the Omega. I like how dynamic she is. I'm just really getting tired of these swords. There's, I just don't understand the point. Um, I kind of wish uh, these McFarlane toys would come with more accessories, especially like I wish it came with like either an ultra another head or more hands. I mean, I'm not mad. I like these figures a lot. I just wish um, I kind of wish we would just get more, you know, hands or whatnot, you know, but that's yeah, a good figure. Uh, Wonder Woman's cool. I like it. So, yeah, that's it for Wonder Woman. So the next one, third one would be the McFarland. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Why I say McFarland? My bad. Uh, the Batman. Now, I like this Batman. Uh, I was actually excited because, like I said, I do like um, this comic. Uh, mine is kind of weird. Like, if you see that, I think I got a bad Batman because every time I do that, like, it's not broken, but. Once you go all the way up, it's just... I'm not sure if that's on everyone or just mine. Um, cool design. It's the head. Suit. Kind of like the straps. I kind of like that. Um, usually, I like cloth goods, but I think the, the straps actually did pretty good. Uh, I feel like these would be better than, the, than cloth goods straps. Uh, let's see if this arm does it. No, this arm doesn't really do it. It's just this arm. That just... Right there, it just gets all weird. Like, wobbly. But it's not broken, because when you bring it back out, it's fine. But... 
There we go. His leg can basically go up to there. Because the articulation is being cut off right there. Because of the rubber. So that's all you get. You, c I'm not going to force it. Because I know you can go a little higher. But I'm not going to do that. And I wouldn't advise that. You can go all the way back. Of course. Rocker for the boots. Why not? Um, head. Go that way. That way. I can't really go up, can't go down. Batman can bend down a lot more than the other guys could. And he can bend up a lot, but you can even see the joints right there. Wow, they did weird joints for this guy. Uh, if you can see that. But, yeah, I like this guy a lot. I really do. Um, I think he came out pretty good. Uh, accessories he comes with yes comes with the joker now reading the comic i mean this is a good joker head i like it um they did the orange um i felt like he had longer hair uh in the comic i think he did you can prove me wrong but i think he had longer hair um i saw some people pop this guy's head out i don't i think they i don't think it pops out though People want to know. I think uh, how people popped it out usually is uh, they just. I think they just open it up. But no, it's a it's a cool accessory. I like it. Um, I don't know. It keeps throwing me off. I think the hair is supposed to be longer than this, but it's cool. Cool Joker head, really cool. And then the other thing it comes with is a uh, Billy Cub. Oh, Billy, uh, club. All right, there you go, guys. That's what it looks like with the accessories. Now. This Billy Club is like hard plastic. It took me a good couple minutes to um, put it in his hand. By the way, um, I warmed up some hot water and uh, did the hot water treatment and uh, had a because these uh, joints on his hands felt like they were going to snap, so I didn't want to snap them. Uh, and I didn't. Uh, they're just really hard to put this stuff in the, you know. In his hands. But yeah, I think that looks really dope. I, I like this figure a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, looks from Batman. Even though in the comic... Spoil, spoiler alert. Um, he only like had this costume on for like maybe... A good couple minutes. Uh, a little bit. I mean, he just got back to his original costume. But it's a cool idea for Batman. And I like it. I mean, I love the detail on this guy. I just think this guy looks amazing awesome but yeah uh for my like this guy would have been my favorite out of the bunch but um the last one uh is my favorite so let's get on to that guy so the last guy we got is scarecrow now this guy uh blew me away i think this guy is my favorite he has no legs like the cannonball from marvel legends but this guy is cool he comes with a little fight stand so if you don't have the bane built all the way up you could just have them on the stand like that i think he's cool here's the detail on this guy like i think mcfarlane like it looks cool um all the fingers can move by the way oh, you're not even seeing it fingers can all move by the way well somewhat you know you can have that but fingers can move Arms can go up to there. That's it. Can all go all the way out. Go up. Go down. Same with this guy. Go out right there. Go down. That's it. He has no legs. Nothing else. He's got this tube. So he can breathe. But what's really cool is this like little see-through thing that he had in the comic. You can actually pop it off and check that out. Check out the face. Pretty cool. And if you don't want this, look, you just take it off. And there's the peg, peg for it. Um, pretty cool guy. I mean, he is made to go on the Bane, just like he did in the comic. Uh, this guy's my favorite. Now, the Batman's more fun to play with, but I just think this guy looks the best. And that's why he was my favorite and the one I wanted to get out of the whole wave. I mean, it's cool. You can... 
I mean, make him do some cool, you can do some really cool shots with this guy. But let's get on to the last guy. Let's get on to Bane, what you guys have been waiting for. And here's the Bane. This guy is big. This guy is massive. Um, to show a little comparison to you guys right now. Look at that. With the Omega. I mean, this guy's big. Um, I'm gonna... So, I have a couple problems with this figure. A lot. Um, one, I would like to say, McFarlane, your build of figures are insanely hard to put together. I've had troubles with the Merciless, and I've had troubles with this Bane. The Bane was the hardest to put together. And somewhat easy, I guess you could say. Um, I do have some problems with this figure. Um, I think this Bane was made for more like a statue, more uh, for Scarecrow. I mean, we'll, we'll put Scarecrow at the end, how he looks on it. But this guy, uh, I have a lot of problems. I'm kind of disappointed with it. Um, I have the Storm Collectibles Bane, and I still think that's the best Bane that I have. I actually thought this Bane would be really cool. I like it, Bane. I like this Bane. I just feel I have a little couple problems with him. Uh, one, um, he's not really comic accurate to his comic. There was times where he... Uh, looked black and white but he does he did have color i kind of wish he had the green veins going all over him like he did in the comic i mean even right here you can see the green veins going all up and you can see that he doesn't look black or white he kind of looked a little you know skin tone but it's whatever it's nice i mean it's cool it's a cool big figure here's the problems i had to heat this guy up the pace joints in um, the arms are hella hard to put on. The head was hard to put on. The legs are the worst thing about this figure. I'm going to say that right now. Arm can go all the way up. Arm can go all the way up. Can go out. Out. Now I will say this. You just saw what I just saw. Arms can go out all the way out. So this guy. His arms are in. Same problem. Arms are in. Head. That's it. You just get movement. You can't really go up. That's all you get for that. And that's all you're going to get for back. The thing that irritates me about this figure is the hands pop off so easily. It's not even fun. You just go in like that. Those are the easiest things to pop in. But really, you just, you just hit them a little bit. And they just they just pop off it's really annoying because even if you push them really hard i mean look at that you know i just see this one wants to stay in see if you have it in a certain way it won't come off but once you want to move it or do a little pose with it it just wants to come off it's ridiculous the legs I'm going to say this right now. You guys are not going to be able to move those legs. It took me maybe a half an hour to put these legs in. So that's how the legs look. Okay. At least with the arms, they stay in. But you can't. If you move it up. So if I move it up, it's going to pop off. I'm not going to demonstrate that. Because I'm already. I'm not going to like sit for another half an hour just to try to. Put this guy together. He, his legs can move, his feet can move up like this. Well, that's it. Um, his knees, he can move like that. Move it, I guess, but he, he can't go up. What's more annoying is his knees do not want to bend at all. You can bend them. They're just really hard. The bin. I mean, look at that. That is terrible. I mean, McFarlane, like, I love your figures, but... Well, somewhat of your figures. But what's going on with this, man? 
the Mer merciless i a lot of people liked it i thought it was okay i think this bane figure is a disappointment i wanted to collect this whole way for just the bane and i'm really disappointed uh i'm not sure if it, it's just online or if everyone's having the same problems but i honestly feel like it could have been better i just felt like for what you're paying for you should get and you're collecting to build this figure the build a figure should be amazing it should be nice i mean honestly i'm probably just gonna glue these hands in i mean marvel legends can get it right uh, i feel like marvel legends do it better i mean they're able to get it better and do it right i like you know mcfarlane right now i think i think it's the joints i think how he does the joints it just doesn't feel right and when you try to pill them in, they just don't go in a little disappointed but you know what i this guy will sit as like a statue just for scarecrow that's all he's gonna be uh on his back he has a little peg right there um and we're gonna show you how it looks I'm guessing you how you so set them up. Now I don't know what the peg is for. Honestly, let me see. Um, yeah, it doesn't really show Scarecrow with the peg, unless you guys know something I don't. But no, it's. I think you just kind of just throw them on there. I think you just kind of, I mean, there's probably a thing you can, yeah, see, he just doesn't even want to go on. Um, you guys can't even see that. I'm just going to take my camera off my stand. I mean, that's what it looks like on Scarecrow. Um, I'm going to, let me get back with you guys really fast. Let me see if I can plug him in or something. Fun fact, um, he does have a peg. I think that's neat. You just peg it like this and you're able to peg them on so let's see how that looks so that's how he looks on bane um kind of whatever i think honestly um because if you look in the card he's kind of more on top like he's just behind his neck i mean that's how the peg is he's just behind it i feel like if they put the peg up a little higher because like, i mean look at that straightforward you just see Bane and then Scarecrow's like hands. So I don't, unless you put it to the side like that, then you'll see it. Um, honestly, I'll probably pit Scarecrow a little bit higher and balance some more. I think it's okay. It's whatever. Um, yeah, I, I think it's whatever. It's cool, I guess. I mean, it's a cool idea, but I feel like they should have put the peg a little bit higher on Bane's back. So overall, out of this wave, my honest opinion, is this a strong wave? No, I wouldn't say that. Do I like the wave? Yes, I do. I mean, I'm not going to be like, oh, this is a shit wave, don't buy it. No, uh, whatever you guys like is whatever you like. You know, you might say, hey, that Bane's amazing. You might say, hey, that Omega's amazing. Or whatnot. I have my problems, I have my own opinions. Do I think the wave's good? Yes. Do I think it's still, you know, if, if you should still collect it? Yeah, I think so. Should you still build the Bane? Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Um, I have my problems with it, but that's that's just me. It could have been better. That's my opinion. I still think this wave is good. I just wouldn't say it's a strong wave. I feel like the only two I liked out of this wave the most is, you know, I'll be honest. I like the, I like the Batman. I like the Wonder Woman. I even like the Scarecrow. Scarecrow one is probably my favorite because of the design, but more fun to play with would be the Batman. Um, you know, I just have my problems with the Wonder Woman sword and Omega just being kind of just basic with nothing really. Um, my biggest problem with this wave is just the just the build a figure. Bane could have been better um, in a lot of ways. I feel like. Uh, they kind of could have raised it a little bit higher where he's up there. Uh, I feel like, honestly, and this sucks to say it, but I feel like the Bane is more of an accessory to Scarecrow than a figure itself. Like, it can't be a standalone figure. It barely can move. It's more of a statue. 
Um, is it worth building it? Uh, it's a 50-50. I think the Storm Collectibles Bane is a lot better than this one. Even though that's Injustice Bane, I still like that Bane better than this Bane. Or maybe even any other Banes. Hopefully McFarlane will give us like a Nightfall Bane or some type of other different Bane. That will be more articulated than this Bane. But I think it's cool. But yeah, that's my review. Tell me what you guys think. Um, like, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment. Um, tell me if you think I'm wrong. Or tell me what's your opinion on the Bane. Or any of these figures. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you guys like this review. And, yeah. See ya.